All right, guys, so here's a new unboxing. This is an interesting one. This is a studio lighting kit for small objects. Um, people would use this for um, applications for like eBay or product shoots, anything that you need um, special lighting to diffuse it. In product shots, most likely in corporations, they use a really big studio. This is a miniature one, and you can get kind of close to the same effects. There's many ways that you can get the same types of studio shots at home, but it does require some equipment. You can use a bounce flash, you can actually use studio lighting, you can use um, all sorts of different techniques to get that same effect. This is just a, another solution, so this is an unboxing for that. So I'm just going to slide everything out. You can see everything's in the box. I'm just going to slide it all out, get you an idea what's in here. So what you'll notice first is this colored roll. Uh, they come with four colors, I mean, if you consider white and black a color. Um, they're just fabric, and this is fabric that's going to be actually used where you put the product. Uh, they give you red, black, blue, and white as well. Um, so that's that. That's pretty self-explanatory. So let me roll that up, and we can set that aside. Let's see. So first thing you're going to notice right away is the lights. So I'll get to them in a second. In these, these small boxes here, I guarantee you these are probably replacement bulbs, which they are. And they look like they're halogen bulbs, so you can see the uh, bulbs here. So they're very reflective, and those are the connectors they use. Probably a very standard bulb. Keep in mind that they already come with, they come with two spares, and they already have bulbs inside the lights. Okay, I had to see how this works. So, here's the light. It has a, uh, a lock, locking mechanism here, so you can actually rotate the light head back and forth to get the optimal uh, angle. Then you can lock it in place. It has a simple rocker switch for power on and off. And then your halogen light there. It just uses a plug to plug in. And this down here is a pretty interesting thing. This is a built-in tripod, so all I have to do is unlatch this, and the tripod springs out, and then I just have to tighten it, and it tightens these legs. And then to fold it, I just push everything back into place. It's pretty cool. I definitely like that. It's a compact. So you don't have to, like, really worry about attaching another tripod. So we'll put that back in the bag, and there's a, there's a, a set of two of them. So, and then you're uh, you know be careful you don't burn your house down manual. Okay, so let's see. This box I believe is probably the hardware for the uh, the structure of the system. Let's see. So they give you some brackets here. Let me see what these brackets are. Alright. So you have like a little H bracket here. And this is pretty cool. Now it looks like there's a standard tripod mount here. So, and it it has like little adjustments here so you can actually rotate it. It has like a little bearing at the top and then you can just tighten it. And then this thing is how it telescopes. And then locks in place. And then this thing at the base adjusts. The angle. Alright. So 
So I um I kind of want to know what this is for. I will get in depth about what that's for. But let me open this up. This is the main part of the system. Okay, so this is the instruction sheet, and what we need to make sure is that all the prop packages are included. Hot one high quality photo studio tent, which is the white one, and four, um, I mean the black one, and then four non reflective backgrounds, which is red, blue, and white, and then a studio high quality output light. There should be two of them, one camera stand for your camera, that's what this thing is for and one premium carrying bag, which I hope is right here. Two studio quality light bulbs are already installed and you get two additional lights. And one additional light stand and bulb. So, it looks like we have everything. So, this is, let's see, what do we have to do with this? I'm gonna just unpack this now. I give you pockets for everything, it's pretty, Compact. All right. Huh. Look at that. So everything kind of just falls into place. Now it looks like there's Velcro here, which attaches to this. So that is actually relatively easy to install. Now you can see the, uh, it's going to be hard to see, so I'm going to actually move this camera back a little bit so you can get an idea of what I'm showing you. So what happens is that you're trying to make a tent at the top, and then you take this fabric, apply it to the Velcro inside, And then when you stand this up, now you have a really nice way of presenting things. So let me uh, lower this camera for a second and give you an idea of what it looks like. So now you can see that there's Velcro attached at the top here. So there's Velcro attached at the top, and then this thing, this is where the base is, this is the bottom. And then when you tilt it upwards, it gives you a really nice uh, display. Then all you have to do is make sure the lights are positioned, and then you can, you know, use this camera to balance it. So this is basically your camera tripod, and you it's like a mon it's a mini monopod so you can shoot and this right here is for your lights i believe lights or ah you know what that's for not your lights this is your tripod mount so you would st so what happens is this this little H-beam, there's a hole in the center here. And on the, uh, the little monopod, this little base piece attach it, this, uh, remo gets removed. So then you insert the hole here into the slot. And then on the other side, you just have to screw in your monopod again. Tighten it up. And now you have a nice little stand that you can actually mount your camera on. So that's actually really nice. And then all you have to do is set up your studio lights, one on either side, so one on this side and then one on the other side, and you're good to go. Um, so I'm going to do some test shots, and at the end of the video, um, in a few seconds, you'll be able to see some test results from using a system like this.
If you have any questions or comments, please leave one, and as always, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.